YouTubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with the Peter the Master Comics. Today, finally, carrying on with the Ama Blanco's collaboration beers that they did during the uh, Copenhagen Beer Celebration. And today, we're going to be looking at one that is brewed in collaboration with Off Color Brewing, made in tribute to West Lakeview Liquors in Chicago. This is the Ama Blanco's Gnädige Frau Marshmallow Stout. It's a big 10% Imperial Stout, and yeah, you guessed it with marshmallows. Now, um, this is made, in, as I said, in tribute to West Lakeview Liquors. Actually, Christina, I think it's Bosick, came to the brewery to brew with the guys on the brew day. And if you haven't heard about off-color brewing before, you should have, but that's basically a John Laffer who was behind Goose Island's new, that's his new brewery. So that's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. It's brewed with a ton of ba oh yeah, basically the, the base recipe for this is their half Lexington, Mr. Fred Rexton, their imperial stout, which is great. Um, and yeah, what they tried to do was recreate s'mores in beer form. So it's brewed with, other than the traditional malts and hops and all, it's brewed with white sugar, molasses, graham crackers, vanilla beans, cocoa beans, and marshmallows. I mean, it's, that's, it's a little, might be a little bit gimmicky, but that, that just sounds awesome. I love those kind of desserty beers. Uh, wow, I can smell that already just by pouring it. So that's pretty that's pretty intense. So I got the Gnadige Frau poured it. When, uh, by the way, Gnadige means gracious. So kind of like the gracious woman, something like that. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Pitch black in color, nice. Kind of like almost two finger beige head. I can smell the sweetness and all from here, so let's just dig in. Mmm, yeah, that smells really nice. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought it had like more intense sweetness, but it's actually fairly balanced, but still a little on the sweeter side. I'm getting a lot of chocolate, kind of coke bean notes, vanilla. Not really picking up on the graham cracker. Some licorice as well. I'm not sure if you would smell the graham crackers at all, really. <laughs> but. Yeah, some roasty, toasty notes, dark, rich coffee. It has a little bit of that salty tone, kind of umami-like aroma going on. Yeah, some sweetness, definitely like a sugary kind of... I don't know if it's like marshmallow per se. Well, marshmallow is technically like just this sugary kind of thing, but... Chocolate, vanilla. It smells quite nice, but not as extreme and desserty as I thought. Quite in balance, but let's give it a taste to find out. Cheers, guys. <laughs> yeah, they had much different in the flavor. Definitely sweet and desserty. That is really nice. Um, it, I don't know if it really captures the essence of s'more per se. I mean, you get, you definitely taste like a sweet marshmallow-like taste, along with a lot of vanilla and like sugary flavors. But I mean, it's also super hard to like try and recapture capture that <laughs> in a beer form. But this is really nice. It's got a nice full cool mouthfeel, thick and creamy. Don't taste the 10% whatsoever. Really, it has an almost spicy kind of component to it. Like a spicy, slight peppery almost. It reminds me a little bit of cinnamon for some reason. Uh, flavor in there. Always picking up definitely some sugary notes. Marshmallow is in there, which I'm quite surprised by. One with the vanilla. And I think it might be that, along with like uh, the sweetness that reminds me of like um, uh, marshmallows. There's more of a dark chocolate kind of flavor in there as well. Roasty, toasty notes, dark coffee notes. It's actually really good, especially the more you drink on it. Uh, it's a it's a sipper though. I mean, it's pretty big and it's it's well not overtly sweet, but on the sweeter side, it's like nowhere near as something like crazy sweet as some of the sweeter brewery beers or. Southern Tears stuff like creme brulee and chocolate and all that stuff, but if you have a sweet tooth in beer, you'll really like this. I'm mean, they're really liking that kind of marshmallowy, sugary, vanilla aftertaste that's on there. Really nice, kind of some dark toasted kind of bread in there as well. Um, it's it's really a a sweet yet quite roasty 
flavored and pearl stout. Rating wise, for the Ama Brutus and Off Color Brewing, Gnädige Frau. I'm gonna go 93. It's really nice. I really dig the sweetness and all. Um, but I, I, I had kind of hoped for more like sweet, kind of chocolatey and vanilla -y flavors, but it's, 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 it's still really nice. I mean, 93 is a really good grade and definitely worth something, something worth checking out if you can get it in your area. Um, I really think it's fun. It, this is kind of like a homebrew experiment type of beer almost, because then it's what people do when you homebrew. It's like, reminds me of one of the Yaka when I brews we did. Like Belgian style, imperial style, with two different yeast strains and sugars and aged and oak chips and vanilla beans and all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, but this is really good. Nice sipper, good kind of disturbed type of beer. So definitely let me know what you think of the Amapaku and Off Color Brewery Gnädige Frau Marshmallow Stuff if you've had it. And I, I think Short Brewing does a marshmallow stuff as well. Um, you might. Let me know if you have any other examples of like good marshmallow stouts. <laughs> if that's something you've seen around. <laughs> so, guys, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I want to say cheers. It's a delicious beer, and I'll see you guys in the beer.